Welcome to Wiz Kids, the exciting game show where your knowledge is power and young minds shine. I'm your host, Ramona Luti, and with me are some of the brightest and sharpest students from across Guyana who are here to test their knowledge in core subject areas related to the National Grade 6 Assessment. This is our wild card round and we need one more contestant to make it to the semi-finals. With me are our highest scoring runners up from the last eight episodes and they'll go ahead and introduce themselves right now. Contestant number one, can you tell me your name, age, school and which episode you were in? Hi, my name is Ocean Suknan and I'm 11 years old and I attend Coim Academy and I am from episode three. Awesome. Contestant number two. My name is Arshad Hansraj, I'm 10 years old. I go, I attend the school of Camille's Academy, Diamond Location, and I'm a runner-up of episode five. All right, contestant number three. My name is Liam Chase, I'm 11 years old, and I attend Arpine Primary, and I'm from episode eight. Awesome. Contestants, how do you feel to be given another shot at the semifinals? Contestant number one, we'll start with you. Feel very excited. All right, you prepared? Yes. All right, contestant number two. I feel glad to have a second chance for me to enter the semifinals. Awesome. Contestant and number three. I feel extremely lucky because this doesn't happen all the time. That's very true. All right, so are you ready to begin? Yeah. All yes. right. There are four categories of questions. Mathematics, Science, English, and Social Studies. The host will select the first category and read the first question. Contestants will compete for the opportunity to answer questions by hitting their assigned buzzer. Once a question is read to completion, the contestants can then hit their buzzer. Contestants must keep their hands to their sides while a question is being read. The first contestant to hit their buzzer will be identified by the buzzer system and the host will then call on the contestant to answer the question. Once called upon by the host, the contestant has 10 seconds to answer the question. If a contestant answers the question correctly, they will be awarded 5 points and be allowed to select the category of the next question. If a contestant fails to answer a question correctly, the host will share the correct answer and will then select the category of the next question. Once a total of 40 questions has been exhausted, the contestant with the most points is declared the winner and will proceed on to the next round of competition. If any contestants have the same number of points or there is a tie, those contestants will then advance to a bonus round. The bonus round will contain five questions from any of the four categories, following the same rules and format as outlined. Let's start with mathematics, please. How many years complete a decade? Contestant number one. 10. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. In a food chain, an organism that makes its own food is known as a... Contestant number one. Producer. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Same science. Rice. Palm and awara are examples of what kind of plants? Contestant number three. Mm, mm, Monocotyledonous plant. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. Muhammad bought five oranges for seventy-five dollars. How much would thirty-five oranges cost? Contestant number three. All right, so unfortunately, we ran out of time with that one, but the correct answer would have been $525. All right, let's proceed to English, please. I have a great story to tell. My cat, Chester, and I discovered a new way to eat Slim Jims. I dipped them in peanut butter, and it's delicious. What point of view is this passage told from? Contestant number three. The writer's point of view. So we can accept that answer, but the answer we were actually looking for is the first person point of view, okay? All right, go ahead and select your next category, please. Mm, say in English. The place and time a story takes place is called contestant number three. Setting. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. 
a polygon with all four sides and angles equal is called a contestant number one. All right, so time's up. The correct answer would have been a square. All right, let's proceed to social studies, please. Which continent did the English come from? Contestant number one. Europe. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Caribbean islands are predominantly affected by which type of natural disaster? Contestant number one. Hurricane. Correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. What technique would best be used to separate soil and water? Contestant number one. Sedimentation. I'm sorry, that's not quite the answer we were looking for. The best technique would be filtration. Okay, let's proceed to social studies, please. Which crop influenced the coming of indentured immigrants to Guyana? Contestant number one. Sugar. That is correct. Sugar or sugar? Sugar, cane. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. My friend Ryan has a large sum of currency in the form of pounds, euros, and US dollars. Where can he go to have these currencies exchanged for Guyanese currency? Contestant number two. The Bank of Guyana. That is correct. Or a cambio. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay social studies. Settlements like St. Cuthbert's Mission and Oriala were established to preserve the lifestyles of which ethnic group? Contestant number one. The Amerindians. Correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Thanks for studies. Guyana became an independent nation in May 1966. In May 1966, the leader of Guyana became known as the... Contestant number three. Governor? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be Prime Minister. All right. Let's proceed to mathematics, please. How much is 643 divided by 10? Contestant number one. 64.3. Correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. What is the name of the monument that serves as a reminder for Guyanese of the events that took place on May 5th, 1838? Contestant number three. Hubert Nathaniel Kirchhoff. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be the Indian Immigration Monument located in Burbese. All right, let's proceed to English, please. This word is often used to describe an author's attitude, either positive or negative, toward a subject. Contestant number two. The author's point of view. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. We're looking for the word bias. Okay, let's proceed to science, please. True or false, biodegradable materials can be used as fuel. Contestant number three. True. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. The perimeter of a circle is known as the something. Contestant number three. The circumference. That is correct. <coughs> Go ahead and select your next category. Social studies. Originally in Guyanese history, the term El Dorado was used to describe a contestant number three. City of gold. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in social studies. The something is the head of a tongue council. Contestant number three. Yeah, um, cheer, regional chairman. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be the mayor. Let's proceed to English, please. What literary device is used to discuss similarities and differences between people, places, and things? Contestant number three. Noun? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be compare and contrast. All right. Let's proceed to science, please. Name two materials that cannot conduct electricity. Conte contestant number one. 
rubber and plastic. That is correct. It can also be wood or glass. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Same science. Where is the smallest bone in the body found? Contestant number one. The ears. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in science. Which of the following contributes to pollution? A. Replanting of trees. B. Clearing of clogged drains. C. Erecting garbage disposal signs. Or D. Dumping garbage on the roadside. Contestant number two. D. Dumping garbage on the roadside. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Which type of figurative language is a comparison of two unlike things using the words like or as? Contestant number two. Similes. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. What does bod mass represent? Contestant number one. B bracket O of D division M multiplication A addition S subtraction. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Name two elements that make up the plot of a story. Contestant number three. Uh, the climax and... Um, um, is that thing? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Climax is correct. It could have been rising action, resolution, or falling action. Okay? Let's proceed to mathematics, please. What percent has to be added to 50 to make it 55? Contestant number two. 10%. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. Sonia is a meteorologist. Name an instrument that will be useful in performing her job and state its function. Contestant number one. Rain gauge. Rain gauge is used to, me to measure amount of rainfall in a specific period of time. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in science. Which acid is secreted in the stomach? Contestant number three. Gastric juices. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be hydrochloric acid. All right. Let's proceed to mathematics, please. A boy eats three chips every six minutes. If he continues at this rate, then in an hour, how many chips would he have eaten? Contestant number three. 30. That is correct. <laughs> Go ahead and select the next category, please. Social studies. This is the last social studies question. Brazil is the most populous country in South America. What is the most populated country in the world? Contestant number two. China. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. We've exhausted social studies. Maths. How many months are there in half a century? Contestant number one. All right, so unfortunately, your time is up. The correct answer would be 600 months. All right, let's proceed to English, please. In expository writing, the act of providing the reader with a series of time-ordered events is called contestant number three. Um, sequencing? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be chronological sure. order. All right, let's continue with English, please. An author may be writing to educate, entertain, or persuade. The author's reason for creating a specific piece of work is called contestant number two. All right, so time's up. The correct response would have been the author's purpose. All right. 
Let's continue with English, please. What term refers to the central idea or underlying meaning of a literary work determined by evidence covering a significant portion of the story? Contestant number three. Unfortunately, your time is up. The correct response would have been the theme. All right, let's proceed to mathematics. The last math question. Negative two is a natural number. True or false? Contestant number one. False. That is correct. We've exhausted social studies and mathematics. Kindly select your next category. Science. This is the last science question. The seeds of cherries are most likely dispersed by which method? Contestant number three. Animal dropping. That is correct. Animals or birds? And the last question for this segment. What word is used to classify types of literary work? Contestant number two. Literary devices. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. This would be genre. All right. All right, we've reached the end of the wild card round. And in the lead, and the one person who will be moving to the semi finals is contestant number one. Congratulations, contestant. How are you feeling? Very excited. All right. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Guyana Learning Channel's Wiz Kids Show. Join us next time for even more excitement, challenges, and friendly competition. I'm your host, Ramona Luti, saying goodbye and see you in the semi finals.